Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Dominic and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Not News, the Nerd News Show. Let's get into the news, shall we? So what we all expected has finally been confirmed. Game of Thrones will only air for another two seasons, making up a total of eight seasons. And yes, those final two seasons will be truncated, only airing seven episodes each. Now, while it's sad to even ponder a world without having HBO's hit fantasy show to look forward to each year, I think I'm actually okay with the news that the last two seasons will be shorter in length than those that have come before. I felt last season, and while being one of the strongest of the six, was hampered by some severe pacing issues around episodes 6 through 8. Deciding to produce only 7 episodes not only allows for tighter, more focused storytelling, but it means that the budget that would have been allocated to those extra 3 episodes can now go towards giving us even more groundbreaking visual effects, which of course means more incredible scenes like the Battle of the Bastards, more direwolves, or should I say direwolf I guess until Nymeria shows up again, and of course more dragons. You can never go wrong with more dragons. Now HBO's new programming chief Casey Bloys made the announcement at the Television Critics Association press tour in LA saying, Believe me, as the new guy, if I could get them to do more, I would take 10 more seasons, but we take their lead on what they think they can do to make the best version of the show. He did however shine a beacon of hope when the subject of a possible spin-off series came up saying, It's not something I'm opposed to, but of course it has to make sense creatively, but there's no concrete plans or anything at this point. Talks of a potential spin-off series to Game of Thrones have been suggested before, with the writer of the novels George R. R. Martin in professing interest in it revolving around the stories of Dunk and Egg, two characters that existed before the events of the show. If it were up to me, I think I'd like to see either Robert's Rebellion in its full glory, or, and this is going way, way back into the lore of Martin's world, I think I'd like to see the arrival of the Andals on Westeros, and their first clashes with the First Men and the Children of the Forest. Game of Thrones Season 7 begins filming in Northern Ireland in the coming weeks and will air sometime around mid to late 2017. Next up on the show, Marvel have confirmed that their next Avengers movie will be called Avengers Infinity War. Now this is not exactly news, right, considering that this is the name that they gave us back when they rolled out their entire Phase 3 lineup of movies in that incredible mic drop press event that happened a couple of years ago. Well, the difference is that where before the two upcoming Avengers movies were titled Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2, it now seems that only the first movie will bear the Infinity War moniker, with the second movie yet to be titled. Joe Russo, who along with his brother Anthony, directed the second and third Captain America movies and will be at the helm for the next two Avengers films, said of the upcoming movie that the two movies are very different movies, and that the titles Part 1 and Part 2 were misleading. It will be interesting to see just how different the two films are, and which of Marvel's superhero team will be set to take centre stage. The contracts of big actors will no doubt be up for renegotiation, some of whom will understandably demand higher salaries going forward. This is why the acquisition of Spider-Man could prove to be so much more important than first perceived, as the character not only provides Marvel with a fantastic platform on which to establish a new generation of heroes, but could also prove to be fiscally beneficial if Tom Holland becomes the front and centre of the cinematic universe ahead of the very expensive Robert Downey Jr. Either way, the next two Avengers movies will signal the end of what has been an unprecedented decade of filmmaking and will no doubt be looked back upon as the golden age of superhero movies. What do you think they'll call that second Avengers Infinity War movie. I like the sound of Avengers Reborn. No? Just me then. And that's it for this episode of Not News. Thank you everybody for watching and please do hit that like button down below if you did enjoy the episode. Please also feel free to share amongst your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. I've been Dominic and I'll see you again next time.